excuse me, Chris okay. Jericho. The learning Cree, I'm pretty sure, is that thing that controls them all in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, anyway, I. <laughs> Big Bill introduces Jericho, and Jericho comes down, and he actually allows Big Bill to, uh, I believe, finish some things he didn't before Jericho's music hit. Um, and Big Bill spouts off some bullshit about trees or leaves falling in the fall of the trees before growing back stronger and brighter in the spring. I, I don't know, some fucking Mr. Miyagi lesson that Jericho is trying to teach him. Uh, Jericho then shows off his new uh, Learning Tree University t-shirt, thanking everybody for buying it and thanking all of his branches throughout the world for continuing his legacy. He then moves on to say that while he retained his title of Double or Nothing, both Hook and Shibata were really tough guys and drops him on his head to the point where it is still hurting today. Jericho then introduces the newest person to come into the shade of the learning tree, bounty hunter Brian Keith. I'm so obviously, sorry. I'm obviously so the man who helped him retain on Sunday. <laughs> I'm, I got mixed. I got mixed feelings about it. Let me get through this. Um, Jericho asks Keith why he wanted to get caught up in the Jericho vortex, and uh, Keith responds that he couldn't stand the lack of respect that Jericho is given, despite all of his accolades throughout his career, naming a bunch of them, including being an eight-time world champion, uh, and then going off on the crowd for disrespecting Jericho when they start up a "shut the fuck up" chant, which. I don't know if that was directed at Jericho or Keith, but either way, I thought Keith played off really well, screaming at people in the front row to respect Jericho. Jericho then conned Keith down, reminding him that this is a learning moment, not a yelling moment, even though he respects Keith for being a bad man. Big Bill then jumps in with another terrible fucking quip, saying more like a bad apple, eh, Chris? And Chris turns that bullshit around even into even more bullshit saying that the bad apple doesn't fall far from the learning tree. Jericho then gets interrupted by Hook's music, and Hook comes down, but he is stopped at the bottom of the ramp by some lowly security guards who start getting tossed around like ragdolls, 